Hi, and welcome to this tutorial on AS Review 2.0. In this video, I'll show you how to get screening. There are several ways to get to the reviewer. The most straightforward option is when you enter the software and see an overview of all your reviews, click on Review at the review you want to continue working on. When I click here, I see the title and the abstract of the next record I'm able to screen. If you're anywhere else within a review project, you can click on the Reviewer menu item at the left if you want to continue reviewing. This is also where you end up after setting up your project and clicking on the screen button. But now let's get into screening. I see a title here. I also have a DOI and a URL that were attached to this record in my data set. That is very nice if you want to combine full text and title abstract screening, for example, to clarify any doubts on whether to include or exclude this article. So that can be found here. Now I can see the abstract of this record. You even see the keywords that were attached to this record, which I exported uh, in my data when exporting from the databases. So it's very nice that I can see them here again. And now you see also the tags that I added during setup, which can be very useful to explain the choice for exclusion or inclusion. In this case, this is an inclusion. It's higher education population is what I was looking for. And it is a quasi-experimental study. So I can click on relevant here. But in case you have any doubts, for example, you can also add a note. So maybe this is a record you want to discuss with your colleagues. So I can add in a note, for example, discuss. If you want, during screening, you can also see the model, the active learning model that's currently active. If you want to see that, go in the left menu to settings and switch on show model information. When I do this, you see the amount of labeled records so far and the parameters that are used in the model that's currently active. So you're very sure in which model you're working. If you want, you can also switch models in between. Maybe you have started with a lightweight model and later on you, for example, want to switch to a more complex, deeper model. If you want to do that, you can go to customize. Here you see the same options that were present during the setup of your project. So I can even add some new tags if I want to refine them, for example, but I can also now select the AI I want to use. So, which one do I want? For example, I was using ELAS U4. I can switch to ELAS I2 or maybe ELAS H3 in between. And if you want random screening, you can go to custom here and choose the querier random. That can be, for example, very handy when you do a preliminary screening of, for example, 1% of the data, then it can be useful to have a random instead of an active learning already active. So that can all be set up here. And when a new model is trained, it will be visible on top here. So now, of course, the question is, when can I stop screening? If you want to know more about your progress, you can go to the dashboard. So as you can see, I've now finished screening. The time that I've saved is over 200 hours in which I could have done very nice other things with my life. So that's very nice. You see here the metrics, so the total data set, the total amount of records, those that were labeled as relevant and not relevant. And what's a new option is that you can also add a stopping rule here. For example, the amount of irrelevant records in a row. And I set that to 50 and I'll do save. And you see here that I actually reached that stopping rule so I can safely stop screening. Alternatively, you can also choose to do a percentage like one, two, five, or 10%. And HGV will calculate the amount of records that need to be screened before you want to stop. There's also some analytics available, the history. So here I can see the history of all the choices made that are labeled irrelevant or relevant, but also the density, how many labels were, but also the density, how many records were labeled as relevant during batches of 100, the recall plot. And so you see at the beginning, I'm labeling quite a lot of uh, relevant records. And at some point the curve is flattening. That means I'm approaching my endpoint. The wave plot shows the amount of irrelevant records in a row. 
And I can see here that I've reached 50 irrelevant in a row, so I am happy to stop. You can also see some insights, some words of importance that the active learning models used to predict that a record would be relevant or not. So that's very nice, some extra insights into screening. But for now, I'm so happy I'm finished with screening, so I can relax and I'll show you in the next video how you can view and export your collection.